got another pen for you today. And this one is one of the La Grand Belezas from Paneider. And this box is the Tiger's Eye version. And I've got, I have three of them so far. I've got the Lapis Lazuli, the, well, I've got three of them. Can't even think of which ones I have. Pretty much it's the red, blue, and the green. Malachite, Lapis Lazuli, and Rhodite? I don't know. But now I got Tiger's Eye, so I'm pretty happy about that. But the La Grand Belleza pen comes with this Paneider marked outer sleeve. So let's open it up. And I've been a big fan of the Paneider packaging for some time, especially since I have my, got my first avatar years, a couple years back. And it comes in this little packaging that looks like a little writing desk. I find it to be quite exciting. I don't know if you do or not, but I think it's really cool because of the way it opens. You've got this and then this. And so you have that beautiful pen in there. And one of the cool things about this pen is that Paneider, known for its paper products in Italy since 1774. Uh, this, the La Gran Bellezza and also uh, some of their other special edition pens in this box, it comes with a sampling of their writing cards that you can send out to someone special or someone not so special. It doesn't matter to me, but I think that's a really cool touch. It also has some literature regarding the pen, but here we go. I don't know if you can handle all this gorgeousness, but here is the Tiger's Eye Paneider La Gran Belleza Fountain Pen. I absolutely think this is just stunning. I'm not a huge yellow pen person, but this is more, it's like yellow orange and it has like a mixture of like black and gorgeousness and fairy dust. At the finial, you've got the Paneider logo. It also has a really cool quill formed, spring loaded, spring loaded clip, brain fart. Then at the bottom of the cap, it has this really cool ring around it. It has Paneider. And of course, on all of these pens, it has the, the sample sentence that a lot of people like to write, which is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, so that's on there too. Now it also has that gorgeous quill nib, which has a little extra flex to it, and it'll give a little something extra to your writing. I dig it. Yeah metal section and i know some of you guys y'all see a metal section and you're just like oh gosh my fingers are going to totally slip down that thing well it's not true in fact i've often felt the same way about that but if you notice that this particular section has something of an hourglass shape which helps keep your fingers in place while you're writing so honestly when i've written with the la grand Belletta, i have never had a problem with you know my fingers slipping around on the section whatsoever this pen is also a cartridge converter pen. So yes, if you were to take off this barrel, you do have a Paneider logoed cartridge converter in there or a converter, ink converter in there. So that's awfully nice. Another thing that you may or may not know about the La Grand Belleza series is that everything is magnetic. So it has a magnetic cap so it's like, which is great because like if you're doing a lot of writing at the moment and you only have one hand available, you could just take off the cap like that, right? Another cool thing is that if you like to post your pens, of which I still need to show you, it also posts magnetically. So yeah, it's not coming off or anything like that. But I, I really love that. I think the magnets are a cool touch. And so in the hand, it actually, it doesn't make it much bigger. It's a nice size. So for small hands and big hands, I think this will work for you. I really like this color scheme. It looks really nice, just really beautiful. Well, let's go ahead and ink her up. The ink I received is an extra fine. 
So let's see how much we can get in line variation out of this cool nib. joining me today and I hope by watching this video you learned a little bit about this beautiful pen. What a cool writer with that nib. I'm really excited about the nib. By the way, it is a 14 karat gold nib in case I didn't say that before and I don't think I did, but it is a 14 karat gold nib which helps make it a little springier than just a plain old steel nib. Be sure to go check this beautiful pen out over at Pen Chalet which is where I got mine and treat yourself to some gorgeousness that's all i've got for today and that's how the ink flows